Yo, imagine if we just like cold opened to this part right here. People would be like, what the heck? I definitely gotta watch until at least that part. <laughs> What's up you guys? How you doing and how are ya? Welcome back to Internet Shaquille, the channel that teaches you the best, most awesome ways to chef it up. Thanks for being here today with me. I love you. Today we're talking pasta and you already know the one I'm talking about. The simple, easy, delicious feta tomato pasta that's been all over TikTok. So, Let's just get right into it. A killer new pasta recipe is coming up right after this. Before we get into it, I just want to remind you that you can really help this channel by hitting like, subscribe, and the bell-shaped notification icon. See if you can do all three in under three seconds. One, two, three. And let's see if we can get to 5,000 likes. That would honestly be so awesomely epic. Let's get 5,000 guys. Don't forget to visit internetshaquille.com slash Patreon to support us on Patreon. internetshaquille.com slash Instagram to see all of our latest pics. And internetshaquille.com slash tools to buy my favorite kitchen tools off of Amazon. Okay, so let's just get right into it. We've all seen the videos. This recipe is everywhere. I don't really know why, but what I do know is that I've got to get on this train so I don't miss out like I did on birria. Let's get right into it. So to make this recipe, we need a box of pasta. We could make some from scratch if we prefer. Some cherry tomatoes. We can substitute this for grape tomatoes or just grapes. Fresh garlic. We can substitute the pre-minced garlic in a jar. A block of feta cheese. Today I'm substituting it for Puel, a Serbian cheese I always keep in the fridge. Olive oil. You can substitute butter or avocado oil. Italian seasoning, parmesan. You can substitute nutritional yeast and fresh Genovese basil. You cannot use any other type of basil, guys. It has to be this specific kind or else it's a massive slap in the face to anyone else who has ever made this dish. But you know what's never a slap in the face? Seamless. Barely noticeable transitions to today's sponsored ad, guys. Magic Spoon. Do you love cereal but avoid it because of all that sugar? Magic Spoon is cereal reinvented. Their variety pack comes with four delicious flavors. Cocoa, frosted, peanut butter, and my favorite, fruity. Magic Spoon's cereals have zero grams of sugar, 13 or 14 grams of protein, and only four net grams of carbs and 140 calories per serving, guys. Magic Spoon is keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy free, low carb, and GMO free. You know how much I love cereal for breakfast. I eat two bowls every morning to keep me strong. Magic Spoon is so confident in their product it's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked, guys. Click my link below and use code Shaquille at checkout to get $5 off your order. What flavor will you try? Okay, guys, so before we get into it, let's go through a little history lesson, shall we? This dish was originally called uni feta, Uni translates to oven in Finnish. A food blogger from Finland named Jenny Heirinen actually shared the recipe in February 2019 and it was so popular guys that it caused a feta shortage in Finland. Then the blogger behind Feel Good Foodie shared it on TikTok and it got millions of views. It was so popular guys that it's even on the Internet Shaquille YouTube channel right now. Bruh. So drop a like and a comment and hit the whiskey whiskey spatu flip so we can get right into it. Let's go. Here's how we make our pasta. 
preheat our oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 204.45 degrees Celsius in a 9 by 9 inch or 22.8 by 22.8 centimeter baking pan, add a 9 ounce block or 255 gram block of feta in the center. Add 16 ounces or 453.6 grams of cherry tomatoes around it. Sprinkle four to five cloves fresh chopped garlic over top of everything. Drizzle two to three tablespoons or six to nine teaspoons, mmm, 69, nice, 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 oh yeah, of olive oil all over. Then sprinkle one teaspoon of Italian seasoning over top. Bake for 30 minutes or 1800 seconds or until the cheese feels soft. While we are baking, we boil water and cook our pasta to the package instructions. Halfway through, realize we threw out the package and dig through the trash to find the cook times. Remove the baking dish and use a spoon to mash everything up. Then add our pasta and stir it all up. Wow, too drippy. This is about to be bussin' bussin'. Sheesh! Drizzle everything with more olive oil, add fresh basil and parmesan cheese, then plate it up. Oh yeah, I'm thinking it's taste test time. Okay guys, let's get right into this taste test. Mm. Okay, so first thing I get is it's very cheesy. You can tell that there is cheese in this, so good. You definitely get some very tomato-y notes in there for sure. Mm. Super good. Plus a little garlicky kick in there, pretty good. All of that, plus the notes of Italian seasoning and the carby goodness of pasta, Oh yeah, mm, I'm thinking it's good. I gotta be honest with you guys, the whole time I was sharing this epic recipe, I kept one ingredient secret. There's actually one thing I added to this TikTok pasta recipe to make it mine. Meaning that if anybody shares it without my written permission, it's actually stolen guys. So I minted the recipe, including the secret ingredient into an NFT and nobody can see it unless they buy this one of one exclusive NFT of my recipe. Now for sale at the link that you see below. You can literally own an internet Shaquille recipe guys. This is crazy. Thank you to all my patrons that you see listed here and an extra thanks to the $25 clout lords. Jonathan Wall from Abio Cookware, Jordan Gaitan, and Hafiz Ismael. You guys rock. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment Please, if you thought this video was epic or awesome, please click the like button. And if you hated it, guys, click the button twice. <laughs> All right, guys, don't forget, stay salty. I'll catch you next time. Mm, so good. Wow.